So, hi guys, welcome, bo welcome board again. So today we're going to do a little bit of a traditional flight, in, in term, well, as far as I'm concerned. Flying is Air Canada. I'm just going to get the actual flight number. Get the flight number here, I suppose. Oh no, we can't. So anyway, this kind of gives it away a bit. We're going to London, London Town. Four hundred pounds for a flight for that, which isn't actually too bad if you, if you ask me. And you're looking at the departures from um, tonight from uh, uh, St John's in Canada to London Heathrow as Air Canada 822. So as it said we're going from CYYT to Echo Golf Lima Lima. Now I'm going to initialize the aircraft now just so we can do our ETOP scenario. Because this is an ETOPS route. So C G I T P ETOPS at a scenario, ETOPS 180. That's us configured. The aircraft actually operates at A320 with weight. A3, it's an A319 155, but it operates at A320 with weight, so I'm actually going to file it in here as an A320, purely because it does operate as a, as though it was a, actually file it as a 319 because it's got a 319 fuel burn. That's our primary concerns. Okay, kilograms, meters, and feet. That sounds good. We'll just save that, and it's CGITP. That's on V2500s. I got the wrong type there. Um, I just spotted that through the corner of my eye. Yeah, we need the, the version on CFMs. There we go. <sighs> Sorry, I've just got a bit of a burpee there. There we go. So we'll randomise the payload again. We've got a pretty low load factor. I can't imagine it being a massive load factor on this route. Okay, quick find. It's going to go a bit crazy trying to find me a route today. Find. Right, so that's obviously not an acceptable route. So I'm going to edit it and I'm going to delete everything. Yeah, I'm going to clear the route. Um. Okay, so I'm going to start putting waypoints in. Uh. Okay, so we're going to track out, out of YYT direct to DCT to 49 north, so 49 degrees north, 50 degrees west. It's going to be our first waypoint. Waypoint after that, we're going to head north. We're going to follow pretty much a curvature route. It's going to be, four, uh, it's going to be north 50, west 45. 50N DCT. Actually, I can quickly pop NATs onto this as well. Can I get them as an overlay? Tracks. Yeah, there we go. And we're going that way, which is eastbound. Yeah, we're actually going between the two tracks. Now we'll join onto Yankee at some stage. Um, so that's there. Then we'll be joining onto North 51 West 40. <coughs> so I'm just gonna, and then I'm gonna just say edit, and just see how that deals with that. Oh my word, it's just completely overwritten everything. Yeah, it's taking us up to Goose Bay. And that's now on a bother said star, sorry. Yeah. So we're going to depart St. John's and then we're going to insert to a waypoint. We're going to find the said waypoint. And we're going to go search near the YYT. I don't want an airport, I just want a waypoint. Um, Elsa. Alpha? Do you want to build a snowman? Insert. There we go. So Elsa's a little bit further north. Again, we'll just get a track overlay here of the eastbound tracks. So we need to join onto the track about this stage, really, don't we? Is there a way to do Nut Yankee? Actually, we can delete Elsa and go direct to um, Tudet. So, direct to to DEP 
which is a bit of a weird way to go, but trust me. And then it's 52. Can I just... Um, 52... 50 north. Insert. Then after that, the next waypoint is 53, 54, 53, 40 north. And it's going to be 53, 35 north. Oops. 53, 35 north, as I said. You can see we're actually going to be deposited a little bit further south, probably, than we'd like to be. But it's fine, we can deal with that. And then we're going to go to 52, 52, 20 north. Probably the easiest way to build routes manually, I suppose, those. And then we'll exit Nat Yankee at Extebo. Is it, how do you spell X E T B O? Yep. Then after Kstebo, we're probably going to hit a dollop. 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 Insert. I'm just looking to get. There we go, got the airways on now. And then from there, we'll route to Lodla. Lodla. We're going to put this in as a company route. This is a massive route. And then the Cork VOR. Oh, okay. No, I just want to go to ORK. Oh, it's in a VOR of the station. So it's ICS intersec intersection. Yep, Cork. Insert. Now we'll just go P uh, P2 Airway. All the way to Stew. Hmm. Is that not an airway? Airway point. It's going to go in as direct, even though there's airways. I'm sorry, I just can't be bothered to deal with this right now. Then Stew, which is the Strombel VOR. I'm probably going to come in on a different arrival, do a Compton arrival. Uh, I'll take the Bovington. Is there a Compton arrival? Compton, anybody? Uh, Bover from the. We're coming in from the west. So, yeah, arriving from Kennet, which is actually a pretty perfect route for us to take this. And then it's. Bre we'll go Brecon. Uh, again, from STU. Is there a way to stick it on an airway? Yeah, there is. Lima 9. And that's going to take us all the way to Kennet. To waypoint. Can it? And then it's the, the uh, um, star from there. It's runway 27 right at Heathrow. So flight plan distance is, is a 9% increase. We're going to fly 2,194 nautical miles. You can just insert that all. There you go. Done. That's the route. So it's a much more sensible route we're taking, even though we go up quite significantly to hit the, the uh, a convenient net. Because we could go on to Zulu, but we tend to Zulu, we've got to go a long way south. Kind of almost Bermuda. Um, all the aircraft are going to be flying the same route as us, though. So, fuel. This is an ETOP segment. So, I want at least 45 minutes extra time in terms of fuel. And we need to have an APU contingency time. Now, advanced ETOPs. This is the next one. Has this gone back to being non ETOPs proved aircraft? <sighs> Literally. New ETOPS 180, yeah, that looks good. Save. Alright, it's actually not too bad doing ETOPS scenarios in the North Atlantic. So, the way I see it, ETOPS 180. First ETOPS airport, CYYT. If I, yeah, see, that's like covered most of the way to the UK. Next ETOPS airport, BIKF. Next ETOPS airport, EICK. So that's us covered in terms of ETOPS. Our alternate is going to be it's going to be two filed. One's going to be Stansted, other one's going to be Birmingham. There we go. I'm just going to export the route. I actually need to export it to the Airbus X Extended. I'm just going to have to I'll reinstate that folder very quickly. Let's save there. So that's that exported. Uh, now I'm just going to compute flight. I'm going to see how much over M2 we actually are. Oh, we're not. That's interesting. So summary. We're taking uh, 
a release fuel of 17 tons, which is pretty heavy for the E319. So that's for the flight plan. Fuel data does include APU burn for the entire trip. We're anticipating a five hour flight, which actually isn't that bad if you think about it. That's like finding out the Canaries. Um, alternates obviously stand stead. That's 23 minutes flying time. Uh, final reserves, 30 minutes. We're taking an extra 45 and 10 minutes for the taxis. That gives us a total fuel of 60, uh, 6 hours 52 minutes. I'll add, add my squiggle there in a little bit. E top sedentary points here. That looks pretty good. Um, Okay, that's our ETOPS scenarios. What goes wrong if we do that? What happens if we do that? Um, which we're not, we're not going to look into ETOPS scenarios too heavily right now. But you can see that's just going through our various alternate aerodromes. Um, which ones are closer when, basically? You can have a look, Nook's just within a three hour flight of um, Toronto. It's not Toronto, um, St. John's. <laughs> well, sorry, I'm just had a bit of a burp. Okay. Weather, we're not going to look at weather too much. Um, yeah, so we've got light tower and serviceable tower. Alright, light tower and serviceable on the tower. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Um, again, we'll look at the notums that apply to us when we get at the aircraft. We can now jump over to the weather. So the weather looks good. We'll just look at some chart. Alright, we haven't got plates here for some reason. We had them for some airports, not these ones. Plates. Ah, there we go, plates. No plates, alright. But apparently, the top departures from here are to Goose Bay for people who use Rocket Route. Okay, folks, so I'm going to cut the video here. Whew. Wow, I like that animation. Yeah, I'm a two year old, sorry. Um, anyway, so that's going to be the final thing. That's going to. Uh, nothing to do with the rocket. Sorry, guys. I'm going to cut the video here and I'll start filming uh, the pre flight. Uh, now, and you, you guys will see it tomorrow. Okie doke. See you then, folks. Bye-bye.